The story begins with Sang Tian, standing in ice hockey locker room, and we discover that she is a ballerina who wanted to join figure skating department in the college where her mother was. But she was rejected, so she had to join ice hockey department as a boy, to stay at her mother's same college. Then Sang Tian collides with a guy whom we know as Wenbi. Wenbi is one of ice hockey team. He suffers from blurred vision disorder, and he can't recognize faces. Sang Tian goes to girl's bathroom, and then Wenbi follows her as he thinks it's a boy going to men's bathroom, but Wenbi was surprised to discover it's women's one. And before Sang Tian could explain, they hear a sound of some girls. Wenbi enters one of the toilets, and quickly Sang Tian follows him. Wenbi thinks Sang Tian is a pervert guy who chases girls, and she was unable to defend herself. Then Wenbi kicks her out, the girls see her, they go out, and then Wenbi exits quickly. Then Sang Tian takes off her wig telling them she is a girl. Then when she was about to leave the building she finds Wenbi in front of her and smiles, but she discovered that he was looking to another girl. Sang Tian then goes to the bus station, there. She meets a woman who told her that she will face bad luck today. And when Sang Tian was on her way home, she bumped into Wenbi, she was upset because of what he did, and they quarrel. A small kid throw an ice ball on Sang Tian causing her to kiss Wenbi by mistake. Here, Wenbi was shocked that he now could see Sang Tian's face clearly. But Sang Tian didn't give him a chance to talk and she ran away quickly. But she was surprised by bad things happens to her last of it was that her house was burned down, and next day went to the bus station searching for the same woman she saw yesterday. And when she found her, she told her about her bad luck, and asked for the reason. The woman asked if anything unusual happened that day, and here, Sang Tian remembered her kiss with Wenbi. The old woman told her if she wants to bring the good luck to her, she must kiss him again. Sang Tian goes to the college and searches for Wenbi to kiss him. There, Wenbi chooses her to team up within the training, as she is the only one whom he can recognize her face. And after the training, Sang Tian goes to Wenbi to reconcile him. She asks him for a kiss, but Wenbi finds it a weird request from this pervert guy, so he leaves her. Sang Tian feels upset of Wenbi, so when she saw him in the swimming room, she tried to push him to the water but it ended up that she was the one who was about to fall before Wenbi grabs her hand. She begged him not to let her, but he left her hand to fall to the water. Sang Tian's wig slipped out, she thought no one saw her, and she ran away quickly. But Wenbi did saw her, and he was shocked to know that Sang Tian is a girl. And when he was about to report her, she saw him and told him that she knew that he joined this college with the identity of his friend as his mother rejected joining this department, and she told him if he teases her again she would report him. So Wenbi decided not to report her, and he didn't let her know that he discovered her reality. Then comes the day they choose their rooms, and that was by scoring goals, who scores the highest point can have a single room, but who couldn't will get a double room. Sang Tian tried her best but unfortunately she got a double room, and in Wenbi turn, she signaled him to get her the room, threatening him with his identity. But Wenbi chose the same hole she scored in, to be her roommate. Sang Tian was upset, and she knew all this bad luck is because his kiss, so she put a plan to get her kiss as quickly as possible. One day she went to the locker room, and tried to be fainted. Wenbi felt worried about her, but he found her asking for an artificial respiration, so he knew that she wants to kiss him. So he said loudly he is going to do cardiopulmonary resuscitation. She was afraid that he touches her breast, so she opens her eyes and runs away. But Wenbi thought she is in love with him that's why she does all this. Especially when he found Sang Tian's notebook about 100 methods to kiss Wenbi. She was shocked that he found it, and when she tried to get it back, she fall on Wenbi. He thought she'll kiss him but she got up quickly. Then Wenbi was in the toilet. So Sang Tian started searching for the notebook, but she threw a coke bottle on his bed by mistake, and when he got out, he saw her holding the bottle like this, she was nervous, she couldn't even explain. Wen Bi went to her bed telling her that he'll sleep on it tonight, but he felt bad that he'll let her sleep on the floor. 
So when she got out of the toilet, she found him sleeping on the floor, telling her that he can't sleep in a high place. Next day, Wenbi went to his friend telling him about Sangtian's strange behavior, so his friend told him about three ways to discover if she loves him. First, if she's staring at him, but when he looked at her, she wasn't looking at him. Second, if she follows him everywhere, Wenbi followed her outside, and so if she'll follow him, but the opposite happened, and he was the one who chases her. Third, if he send her a message she will reply just in three minutes, and when he tried, she didn't even respond. So he knew that she didn't love him and he felt upset. Next day Wenbi saw Sangtian with her brother whom he didn't know, he somehow felt jealous, so he called her and asked her to come to their room quickly. She went, and there, he told her that she should wash the bed sheet of coke. Sangtian felt angry, but she did. And Wenbi went to help her, and she fall into his arms. Wenbi waited for what she gonna do, but Sangtian felt shy to kiss him, and she ran away. Then she went back to her brother, and they started eating together. Wenbi joined them feeling jealous, but when he saw to what extent they were close to each other, he got angry and left them. Sangtian tried to reconcile him not understanding what happened, but he didn't and left her. At night Sangtian got stuck in the storage room. Wenbi noticed that it's late and she didn't come back, and which increased his worries that her brother came to his room asking about her. Here, they both started looking for her, and Wenbi could finally find her. He puts his jacket on her, and takes her out. There, Sangtian tells him that this guy is her brother, and Wenbi feels happy. They spend more time together, and we see Wenbi felling for her more and more. One day they were in a restaurant with friends, and soup was thrown on her by mistake. Wenbi quickly puts his t-shirt on her. Here, Sangtian felt a strange feeling towards him. Especially when her friend was with them one day, and Sangtian gave her her gloves as she was cold, and when she left, Sangtian was surprised by Wenbi who gave her his own one. Sangtian was thinking that Wenbi is a gentleman who loves helping his friend, but she didn't know that he actually loves her. Time passes, and Wenbi gets more close to Sangtian, and she started felling for him without noticing. But, unfortunately the coach discovered that Sagtian is a girl, she faced her with that, but she told her she'll not expose her, but wanted her to leave the team herself or she would report her. Sangtian asked her for some time until she finds a new house to go, and she accepted. Sangtian went into a bad period, she was depressed and Wenbi tried to cheer her up not knowing what is wrong with her. The coach told her friend about Sangtian, and her friend advised her to keep Sangtian in the team, and it's not her fault that she loves ice hockey, and has no other choice that in the college there isn't a department for girls. At this time Sangtian was writing a message for Wenbi confessed to him the whole truth, and also her feelings. Wenbi saw the message and he felt frustrated that she will leave. Sangtian then went to the ice rink, feeling sad to leave her friends. The coach saw her, and pitied her, so she decided to keep her on the team. Sangtian was very happy, but she remembered the message, she hurried to the room, and saw the message where it was, she it quickly. And here, Wenbi approached her asking about the reason of being sad the previous days. Sanbin told him that the coach scolded her for being lazy those days. Wenbi laughed at her and told her that he'll help her in training. Indeed, next day he started training her excessively. But one day Wenbi's arm broke, and he of course took advantage of that, and he makes Sangtian changes his clothes, even helps him also in washing his hair, just to be closer to her. Then they went to a training camp, and there Wenbi was always only with Sangtian everywhere. She was worried that one of her friends will share the room with her and Wenbi and they'll sleep on one bed together. But Wenbi knew what she is thinking of, and he slept in between her and their friend, and also pushed himself away from her. Sangtian felt happy and she slept well. And one day, Wenbi was talking to Sangtian, getting too close to her, when their friend opened the door quickly making them kiss each other by mistake. Their friend was shocked. But Wenbi was more surprised that he now could see his face clearly, and he thought it's because Sangtian's kiss, like the last time that when he kissed her, 
he could clearly see her face. Sang Tian took him to their friend next day, to tell him that the kiss was absolutely an accident, but Wenbi was thinking about kissing her again thinking it will heal him. So Wenbi used the same trick that she did before, pretending to be fainted, but Sang Tian was shy to kiss him, so she started pressing his chest strongly, so he quickly got up. He tried several times, but she didn't let it work. But on seeing his interest, in her, Sang Tain decided to tell him the truth. She started hinting to him that she is a girl, but he pretended that he didn't understand. But unfortunately, Wenbi's mother who was upset of her son's strong friendship with Sang Tian, who is not as rich as Wenbi. She told Sang Tian that Wenbi suffers from blurred vision disorder, and he just uses Sang Tian in the hockey as well as their life, as he sees no one but him. Sang Tian was shocked, and she managed to know why Wenbi was very gentle with her unlike their other friends. When she saw Wenbi she faced him with that, but Wenbi started defending himself telling Sang Tian that he never thought of using her, and he considered her a true friend. He took her to his drawings that he drew for her, telling her that he never draw anybody but her. But Sang Tian didn't believe him, so Wenbi hugged Sang Tian and told her that he'll never leave her. He took her to his mother, and told her that Sang Tian is a girl, and he loves her. Sang Tian was surprised that he know the truth, but here, his mother smiled and accepted their relation. Wenbi took Sang Tian outside and she asked him since when he knows she is a girl. Wenbi told her to guess, but she couldn't discover, so he told her that's when he throw her in the pool. Sang Tian was shocked that he knows since that time. They then confessed their feelings, and she was very happy. They went to the college, and Sang Tian take off the wig, and she danced happily with Wenbi. Their friends come to make a farewell party for her, as she should leave the college. But their coach surprised her by taking her a permission from the university president to stay in the team. This is all for today's drama if you like it. Don't forget to hit the like button, and subscribe to my channel.